Hello, Namaskaram, everyone. I'm here today uh, in uh, Kampong Senang uh, Green and Healthy Living Center, where we're having a lunch today. And you're going to have a sharing uh, with all of you about our experience of uh, how we become vegetarian and how it influenced our health in many ways. And I would like to ask uh, sister to introduce herself, please. Okay, hello everyone. We are the live cast host today. I'm Shuchu therapy assistant. Okay, uh, brother. Uh, yes, please. We we should do something. Yes. Okay, I, I speak. Ah, uh, you do. Ah. Uh. Okay. 用肚子翻滚速的新加坡 okay. Okay. okay, Sister, uh, can you please, uh, I'll start off with you. Can you share your experience, uh, how you become vegetarian and how it has influenced your life in many ways? Actually, uh, when I'm 10 years old, I dare not to eat meat, but I don't know why. I couldn't figure out. I, I, I remember I do eat drumstick before, I see. but I don't know why. So uh, from there on, I always eat fried rice. Oh. When I come to 12 years old, then I keep thinking, eh, how come I can grow up without eating meat? Uh -huh. Yeah. Then when I come out to work, then I try to eat uh, char siu rice. Mm -hmm. And then uh, three times I eat, three times I got MC because of diarrhea. Oh, no. So from there on, I then not to eat. Okay. But uh, actually from young, I already got rashes problem. So after I full time vegetarian, my this problem solved. Now I'm not scared of a uh, uh, humid uh, weather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so I think vegetarian is uh, help me. A lot in yeah. many ways. Oh, good. Yeah, nice. but uh, how about brother? Uh, okay. Is it because of uh, religion then you uh, become vegetarian? Okay, so in my case, actually, uh, there are some part of some cultures in India where they are purely vegetarian. Uh, some are mixed, partly vegetarian and non-vegetarian. Uh, some are only vegetarian, hundred percent non-vegetarian. So they're different kind of uh, cultural backgrounds. But uh, how I come from is, I come from a family where we, have, we also consume meat, but not every day. We usually consume a weekly once, or sometimes a weekly twice. On public holidays, maybe we had, but not on a daily diet basis. So, but that was been there for a long. So, particularly for me, and actually I was growing up, and then um, I also was actually concerned about the meat, uh, you know, protein, all these things. So, I was consuming more chicken, meat, and fish. Because I was at 25, I have to build up my muscle and all kind of thing. So naturally, I consume, started consuming more. So usually about, say, about half a kg of chicken, I just eat in one meal. So this is this was my diet about, I'm talking about 10, 15 years ago. And uh, what actually happened is slowly my immune system is actually was uh, affecting me. Uh, I started getting allergic to dust, you know, allergic to acorn. Then... Uh, all these things and as very often I get nasal blocks. So this is one thing which is bothering me a lot. And then uh, I have been managing with, uh, you know, the recipes of grandma recipes, you know, those days. In our Indian culture, we used to eat, uh, they used to prescribe um, crab soup, black pepper with a crab soup. Because it produces more heat when you eat up. So that by which they can control the, the mucus, you know. So they thought, oh, this is, a, this is one recipe for that. So end up that, oh, I found this recipe every, you know, every time I get it, I go and take the grab soup. So this was my, you know, way of handling things. But um, it was not actually, it was just helping for a while, but it was not giving a final solution for it. And then, uh, other than that, when I was consuming meat, naturally after I consume fish, particularly of this thing, I get a small stone get stuck with that. The next day I'll get a gum swelling. So I get easily get infection. And then uh, I have to take an antibiotic to, you know, to settle down this one. So which means I realized that my tooth is also not strong enough to munch, you know, to cut the meat. So this is also, one, one side is the taste of the meat and the biryani, you know, kind of things. I don't want to miss it. Another side is my health. So I have to see whether I have to compromise this or just simply, you know, uh, consciously make a decision of whether to really change the way I eat, you know, the food. So this is how actually I was, you know, I was str uh, struggling around, but I've not yet 
make a clear decision, should I really change myself to try fully vegetarian? So it so happened that when I joined, when I, in 2015, then I joined the uh, Suchi organization where it's, um, uh, it's a charity organization, I get into it. Then I, I found this 100% uh, vegetarian and we have been provided food. So I was having lunch, you know, uh, provided by Suchi and then as a part of the work, uh, workplace, so we are not allowed to go out and eat. So this actually started me, uh, because I started consuming more vegetable and different kind of dishes or varieties, you know. This is not the kind in our Indian culture. We usually overcook the vegetables because for the taste, taste buds and more spicy, it's nice to eat, but you will lose the nutrients. So which I found is very different when I tasted the Chinese foods, which I get because they have been uh, having lunch in, in different kind of uh, varieties, varieties of vegetables, all just blanched. Then it's nice, it's bland and it's not spicy, it's not but salty. So this was actually, uh, you know, put me a little more insight and in how I should actually practice this at home. So I just bring back the same thing to back home and then I started practicing it. So I start consuming more vegetables. So this gradually, uh, and added on with, I also doing yoga practice. So this helped me that in support of that uh, breathing techniques and pranayama, added with the vegetarian kind of food. Gradually I, I added on from, uh, you know, you know blanched kind of food and then become fresh vegetables and fruits. Once it becomes part of my diet, things have changed in my health very drastically. So this actually, particularly as I told you, I was been suffering through this uh, nasal blocks, you know, and aircon issues. I was wondering every time, I, everywhere I go, Singapore is only aircon. So I can't escape out of it. Either I should change my health or I should cannot sustain being in Singapore. So this actually gave me a deeper insight and then I say, okay, why not? Then I changed my way of uh, the diet at home. I introduced that to my home. So in, in a way that I, what I realize now is gradually my flu, nasal blocks, okay? Every two weeks once I have to take medicine to control my flu. This is my diet. So this is how it happened to me. And now you ask me, I just rarely take medications. I literally stop, which means no nasal block issues. If I get rarely get a flu, I know how to handle it by way of, um, now I said, I said told before, there's a crab soup we used to take as black pepper to control the flu, right? I found an alternative in a vegetarian diet, which is called as chuku coffee, we call it as. The ingredients are coriander, okay, pepper, black pepper, sesame seed, and then you have a little bit of ginger, then you boil it. Once you boil it, then you did uh, distill it up, and then you add a, then you add a teaspoon of honey, okay, and a bit of pinch of turmeric. That's it, you take a drink. It just settled very well. Just have in a day or two, three times, whenever you feel cold and cough, this settled very much. So from that day onwards, I changed the way of doing things. And above all, I also found another recipe that in order to, that is, this is what, when it comes, you handle it. But all to prevent it from coming in. So that is another aspect of it. Then I found one recipe, which is taking a warm water. In the warm water, add a spoon of honey, a bit of turmeric inside. That keeps and boosts your immune system fantastically. This is my personal experience. I've been consuming for the past five years. Until today, I'm telling you. Usually, when the next day morning, I always have some kind of phlegm starting up. But it gets settled after a while. But even now, if you ask me, no phlegm in the morning. When I get up, my nasal is clear. Crystal clear. So that is actually, then I introduce that to my children. And I give them, because it boosts the immune system very well. So honey has some um, composition, which is similar to the human blood, which is RBC. It increases the RBCs. And oxygen content by which naturally you get more immune to that then you get free from infections so this is one way that actually I it becomes a part of our, our diet in a daily diet so this is what actually changed a lot in many ways particularly when it comes to lung health this is how I improve uh, drastically by me changing that into a full vegetarian so this is my experience to you. Brother, other than uh, lung health, what else we can benefit of uh, being vegetarian? Okay, other benefits you asked me, yeah. As I told you that, um, first initially, I was, my most bothering thing is my, is my lung problem, which is of nasal problems, right? And then I also had two problems, because every time I consume meat, 
and there's always a tooth impaction. Because of tooth impaction, I get swelling in the gum. That leads to infection. Again, I have to take an antibiotic for that. So by which, and now actually that, you know, I have alternate ways of it, by consuming vegetarian. Because these foods are easily digestible. The food which you consume it, if it just leaves the stomach within three hours after the food, I'll consume it. That's the good food. It gives pranic, positive pranic energy. We call it positive energy foods. When I, consume, when I was consuming meat or the non veg kind of thing, the, the meat stays in our body for more than 12 hours. It doesn't get digested easily because it's more complex in its nature. It becomes you know, so lethargy and dull. What I see that after taking vegetarian, my digestion starts very fantastic. Like within three hours, it's out of my stomach. How do I feel it's out of my stomach? I feel more energetic. I become more productive. This is what I'm saying that before I have to work only 8 hours, 10 hours in my day, but now I can work for 18 hours a day. Just only 4 to 5 hours of sleep is enough for me. So this is a fantastic change which has actually uh, you know, brought me in by be, becoming a vegetarian. How about you, uh, sister? Oh, brother, actually, oh, uh, the, what I see from Google, I go and Google, mm -hmm. uh, then studies say, oh, actually, apples uh, uh, can lower the risk of asthma and lung cancer. Also help, uh, also broccoli shows that uh, maybe can lower lung cancer risk in smoker. Can we? Uh, have our lunch Yes, yes, now. Uh, I for the lunch is, you know, it's as we are talking about it, broccoli yeah. is there, carrot is there. Okay. Yeah, I have to okay. eat now, I'm sorry, I have to take up my mask out. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, now we got bro broccoli. Yeah, so this is uh, very relevant. Carrot, our... carrot also good for lung. Uh, okay. okay. And then the soup uh, got uh, radish. I see. A, Normally, oh, la, if we it. keep coughing, our elderly will uh, cook this uh, radish uh, soup oh, for see. us to drink to hmm. stop the cough. Yeah, this one also. So this really helps and then supports. Yeah. Uh, and then I know pumpkin also helps our lung. Uh, this curry cooked with pumpkin. Yeah, also. Also you want to try? Ah, yeah, why not? Yeah. Uh, Usually in our side, we only just put every masala inside and make it most tasty. But this is here is more blanched, so it just you the nutrients value is still. Stays. That's why I I love to come here. I wow. almost come here every day for oh, lunch. Nice. I think I should also yeah, try yeah. once coming in. It's very colorful. Yeah. Mm. The setting also very nice. And very good presentable. Yeah. Uh, so how is how is it? Very 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 nice. Thing is, what I feel it is, it is not that salty, it's not spicy anymore. One, number two, when I eat, I feel it actually just consuming it in a live form. The food, this is a live vegetables, it is consumed in live form. And definitely in confident, it will get more positive energy in my body. That's you like nice. to try the curry? Curry. The curry. Oh, this curry. Yeah. I love the curry. Oh, we put potato and then pumpkin inside, right? Oh, this is yellow rice, right? Because they put turmeric inside. Yes, mm. with brown rice. Hmm, fantastic. You know how we put pumpkin inside? We, we prepare a pumpkin curry. Yeah. And then add with the rice. But here, this is oh. the first time I see pumpkin with some gravy. That's so nice. Even with chapati, it goes very well. <laughs> I think I should I should learn from... From them, no, no. <laughs> it's the very cool. nice. I want to try this at home. And what is this, sister? There's something called what is it? This one is um, tempeh. Oh, this tempeh. Yeah. Okay. Also um, very nice. I oh, like it so much. I see. <laughs> this, is, this is the first time I'm seeing it. Vitamin B. Oh, uh, it contains of uh, vitamin B. Wow. Oh. How's the Sorry. texture? You try. Hmm. Oh, nice. This is a little bit tasty. Yes, nice. Very yeah, good. the food here is nice and um, so colorful. We <laughs> have red, have green, yellow. Healthy, yeah, the most important. It's healthy. It's very healthy. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Because it's not just what we eat. Is it how we eat? 
what kind of food you choose it matters a lot this is my experience and it is it's this, true yeah this place uh, they they also got a wellness studio and uh -huh. also provide uh, mobility aid services i see yeah then i think we should also refer just get some um, in, you know contact with them and see whether how we can help our patients yeah. you know being uh, helping them in uh, those who need help of mobility in the by it's yeah. aids yes. we could refer them to them and then they also got a cooking class cooking mm -hmm. don't know, uh, for those uh, above 50 years old I, I think it's free wow yeah so it's uh, it's it's actually meant for the public welfare and, and well then the fair. cook is uh, a vegetarian oh. yeah Wow. This food is, it looks very fresh. Usually how, you know, when we want to know this food is a live energy, which means it is freshly cooked. You know, in our um, yogic science, we use, uh, we, we call it Rudraksha, there's a mala there. We just hold the mala here and then hold it like this. If it turns clockwise, then the food is very lively. And this food is very energetic, it will give you positive energy. But if it turns anti-clockwise, then it means the food is will give you negative energy which means you will get when you say negative means it will put you in dullness and you know kind of sleep so this is one thing so this is definitely a fantastic one you know. okay so. brother do you know uh, every second uh, 2443 animals are killed wow. so, oh, so uh, every so day over 210 million animals are slaughtered so every year, over 77 billion animals are killed. Wow. That is so really uh, huge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it estimated that by going vegan, you can save 100 lives per year. Wow. Which means uh, you are saying that I've actually become full vegetarian since 2015. It's about five years, about 500 lives I've saved. It's fantastic. So uh, it's me, a good I enlightening save, information for me. For me, I saved 2,000 life. So wow. we, need, off to you, sister. we need to be cheer you, <laughs> ask people, go for vegan. Yes. Vegan. Let's go vegan. Okay. Then uh, save life. And save Mother Earth. Thank you. Thank you all.